Uh, I mean, what, what we see is that traffic is, is the key issue in China. Of course, with this uh, very uh, strict uh, COVID policy that they have, people are being very careful of um, getting themselves into, into the shopping environment. So, so this, is, this is really the, the, the main issue that we see in China. And well and truly noted, uh, we've been covering the restrictions in China and where it's been going. Uh, let me ask you about the United States, though. Very different market here. And if you look at the high-end luxury companies, the American uh, consumer has been very supportive of spending at high-end luxury. As we talk about the more affordable luxury category, is this a suggestion that we are seeing some of that resilience fade at this point and that perhaps all the pressures, the cost of living crisis, high energy food prices, mortgage costs are now starting to hurt your consumers at least? Well, if you look at the results uh, in the quarter, we were down three points. And if we back, uh, back up to last year when we had this enormous influx of stimulus checks, uh, with the whole market, the whole category grew by over 50%. We actually grew ahead of that last year. So, so we were always saying that this kind of uh, influx of money, that, that's not going to be repeated uh, this year. So therefore, we always assumed uh, that the market would kind of uh, reset itself a little bit. So if you look at that minus three, you say, OK, there, there's some impact, of course. If I compare that to 2019, which was the last clean year, then we're still up, I think, 56% for the quarter. So in fact... You know, I think our business is healthy in, in the U.S. It's this re, resetting or normalizing of the marketplace that's actually taking place. That's no surprise to us. Alexander, as, as you look at the current shape and size of the business right now, like a lot of CEOs, I guess you'll be thinking about whether you have the right business shape running into what potentially could be a few difficult years of recession. Are there cuts coming? Will you be shutting any stores are you trimming headcount? Well, if we back up to two and a half years when COVID hit, our approach to this situation was actually to keep investing in our stores, keep investing in innovation, keep investing in marketing. And through that, we actually believe that we gained both momentum and share. The approach is going to be similar. Now, this time around, uh, you know, the macro is actually different right across the world. So the drivers and the timing of those drivers are a little bit different. So I, I think that kind of the approach here is going to be a, a bit more, uh, you know, guarded. Uh, we'll still be on the front foot, but I think we'll be much more agile if we don't see that the returns are coming. Uh, right now, what we've done is we're kind of looking after cost and, and cash as we've actually been doing the last uh, few years. So there's no major change in that respect right now. I'll ask you then about product pricing, because, you know, in these times, sometimes you see luxury goods companies that say, you know what, the, the way to thrive through this is to increase the price, not cut the price because of the shape of the demand supply curve for this particular sector. How are you intending to respond here? Will we see discounting and sales or are you going to hold the line on product pricing and perhaps even push up some selected lines? Well, in the last two years, as, as our company has been going through kind of a, a, a turnaround journey, we have dramatically reduced the amount of promotions and we've seen the brand hold up. So that, that means that there's strong desire for, for our brand proposition. So kind of driving our full price uh, approach is, is going to stay here. That's not changing.